Hello everybody, nice to see you. Now I did promise you that I would um, do some more videos once a month. Um, oh well, the last month. So what have I been doing? Got my results. Um, yeah. Um, I know that my, the condition that I've got now, it's never going to get any better. But that's okay again, I've just got to get used to the situation. But you know, and the main thing about this is, it, it's going to be hard. Because I really need to ask help for help. Which I'm one of these people who will be, give, oh, I'll help anybody and I'll do this and I'll do this. I'll run about here, I'll go pick people up there and I'll do this and all the next things. Run about in our hand. And I love it. I'm not saying I didn't like doing that at that. Because I like to be able to help people. And make sure everybody's alright. But it's like a table has been turned on me. Okay. So kind of got people coming in. And my chums and family are helping me with my garden. And um, moving furniture so we can get a deep clean in the house. So that I can manage myself. And It's just strange. You know, now the doctor says that my condition is only going to get worse. It's going to get any better. There's nothing they can do, that's why, you know. And so I'm trying to do little things for myself, you know. And you can you get to a certain age and you've done things all your life in a certain way and then you've got to totally change. Whoa. <laughs> It really kind of stops you in your tracks. And that's how I've been feeling, you know. Okay, it's not a massive, well, it's a massive change for me. But I know that other people that's had big changes in their life that, you know, that they've maybe been now a wheelchair bound and all that, you know. It's, you know, really had a massive change again. How can you cope? How can you cope? So no, I want to be running about I get after people like I used to. And there's certain things I know that I, I shouldn't be doing if I went to have a, a good life of my own. Yes, I'll have to ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard, number one. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and I do think, and when I say I'm fine, I am fine. The ones that really know me really well will know that mm, she's not as fine as what you say. But I've got to live. I've got to live. I've got to get on with my life. So yeah, then I'm doing this little bits and pieces here, changing my life around, changing how I deal with things. You know, so now why? I'm taking this as a new start. Which is extra added hurdles. <laughs> so I'm trying to help myself by looking at my weight. Okay. Oh, it's just really changing my portion size is one of the big thing, you know. I bet a lot of you out there have that problem and all. So changing portion size as I'm watching what I'm eating. Um I can't eat mobility at the moment as I can't, uh, like, the shop's not that far from me. If I walk down to the shop and back again, that's me. I'm in pain. I'm lucky that I've got a big garden and a, a, the dogs don't really need the big walks anymore. Well, Button can manage it anyway, anyway. Can, because she's getting an age. Yeah, she needs courage now if we take her too far. So, so yeah, it's changing the way I laugh. And it's, yeah, it's been interesting this last month, see what I can do and frustrate. Oh, I get awfully frustrated with things that I don't really normally do, mate. Yeah. And when I feel my body is the same, you know, I've always listened to myself. I've always listened to my body. I've always listened to what's been told, you know. My guys have been great because they will tell me, so do. Yeah. And different things. 
it's amazing how people have helped me this last month. I'm a very independent person. I plan to be. And it all stems back in the 70s, you know, when my mum was ill and I looked after her and I looked after the family. So I've always been looking after everybody else. And as I say, tables has been turned. You know, everybody's saying, what can I do for you? Well, in this last month, I'm thinking, oh God, I can't. <laughs> I'm laughing at you about it. But you know, it's, it's hard. So I can understand anyone who's out who who there, you can, that's, it finds hard to ask for thanks. Because you, you didn't want to. It's really hard. I'm a giver, no a taker. quite happily listen to people and I'll give what I get from my guides or whatever, the universe or whatever. And I do listen to what my guides are saying about me and that just now and what I have to do and how I should change things. And but I don't like putting people out. I would go for miles for anybody. <laughs> Somebody said to me, oh God, all these years that you've done nothing for everybody else, it's now to pull in all them favours and get them yourself. And I laughed. I said, it's one thing I would never do. Um, if I'm really that struggling, I'll, I'll find a way. I always do. But it's asking for, for help. Asking for somebody to come in and do certain things for me when I think I could be doing that myself. Plenty of people were softening me. But as my doctors were saying to me, and I've got to, to, to listen, I've got to do things, or else because it's not going to get any better, I want to kind of keep the way I am as long as I can, if that makes sense. Oh well, we'll just go with the flow. You know, um, things that get, can send to try us, and it's all part of loving, isn't it? You know, it's all part of life. How you cope, uh, how you cope with life, what throws you. Of course, some people in my life have had a sit down and had a chat and. And that, and they're not here anymore, or, and uh, they're just not here anymore. And it's sad, because at this time, that there's things that you want to be said, or things you need to get done. You know, as I say, I think, I've got to be my own rock. I hope that makes sense to everybody out there. I've got to be my own rock. Probably been that anyway, I never thought about it that way before. <laughs> but you can is. I'm still doing the work. And I'm loving it. You know, I maybe kind of sit as long as I used to. And I maybe kind of stand as long as I used to. I've got to get a balance between things, you see. But I'm still me. Up here is alright. It's this, it's feeling this age. <laughs> My heat's not caught up with the body. <laughs> and it'll always be like that, you know? But you can, I suppose, can, this is my lesson. As I say, I'm a giver, no a taker. So you can for folk coming in and doing things for me this last month has really kind of been good. Ooh, <laughs> I don't been feeling. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're into new month. 
So this next month now is really getting myself organised and still doing my work, but putting myself into a better place so that I can cope with things more for myself. Because uh, I've got to be able to do things for myself. Button and Buster, oh, they keep me going. They didn't ask for a lot, so that's fine, Ken. <laughs> but just changing the way I did things, just changing the way, you know, just little things, and I've been doing that, like, Ken, um, for instance, instead of going shopping, get my shopping delivered. Now, um, okay, we were doing that through kind of COVID things, you know, lockdown times. I've seen, and, I, and, I've, and I've seen myself being ill before, and so I would get things to love her. But it's now getting, and you can't see my fingers working, it's cheaper, because I'm not going to have to show, ooh, I fancy that, and put it in the body. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's just little things like that I'm changing, and we'll see what happens. But now we're running a month, a new month of August. Um, it's now time for me to decide to say, say to myself, right, winter's coming. I'm going to have to sort myself out. Because at this moment in time, I'm still doing my lollipop job. I'm still doing my school crossing. I haven't got given that up yet. I need to see how I'm going to be. And um, so, yeah, I'm just taking one day at a time. My favourite thing. One day at a time. <laughs> So that I'm going to start singing. <laughs> you know? My friend came out on the weekend and and he moved all my garden furniture. So it's in the middle of the garden. We were sitting at the side. I don't like sitting in anyway. That's been fun. So my thing to hear about this is if you've ever changed something in your life and you feel, ooh, be better. It's just a, a good and furniture made me smile, but I realised what he was up to. And I loved it yesterday, sitting where it is. It's so cool. So that's what I'm saying. Why don't you do something this next month? Change something in your life. Yeah. Maybe change it while you do something or Change something in the house or like me in the garden. And see if it makes a difference. The other thing I've had to change is the pillows. And I never thought I'd ever go back to feather pillows again. <laughs> but here I go, by advice of a good friend. Pay for support in my neck. So I, and then another friend gave me a thing for my chair, because so, I kind of get comfy. Just little changes makes a big difference. And how I do things. So if you're going to do a change this next month, could you let me care what it is? And how it's affected you? I'd like to get yeah, because and I'm aware this is, this the situation I'm in now is making me look at the world, if you want, in a different way. It's opened my eyes, I suppose. You know, it's opened my eyes, and I've been speaking to so many different people, lovely people, huh? About different things and and. And that, and they're giving me the, well, this is, can you could do this, you could do that, or the next thing you can. And I'm taking it all on board. Because I want to be independent. I am an independent person. And as long as I can stay independent, I'll be happy. Yeah. My situation may get worse, like a doctor said, that I may not be, be able to be independent as much as I am now. But for the moment, I'm spending my time now looking to date, looking to change little things. 
you know and a lot of things that i've been doing is been putting it again but i've been doing far more to tell you the truth it's been putting a smile on my face because there's certain things think i would have never thought of that that's what i'm saying so now it went it, this is the first day of august so now we're going into a new man is there something you've got to do this month it's got to change something i mean again maybe it's a small thing but it could make a big impression on you it could make a, a, a just a difference in the way you are it can make you feel good about something it could be even changing something in your diet which that's what i'm doing i know <laughs> which is the god doing very well <laughs> i think i'm very much stuck in my ways <laughs> Oh, at least I can laugh about it. Laughing's better than greeting, isn't it? But you know something? It doesn't matter what you do, and I do believe in this, as well as somebody worse off than yourself. And to get us, I appreciate everything I've got in my life, and who's in my life, and who's been in my life, you know, through the 61 years of my life. I'm not just going about in the last few years. I'm going back many years. And a lot of things have been coming up lately. This last month, you know. And it is from people that's now long gone. Okay, that's part of my work anyway. But it's been amazing. Of what they've been saying to me. And of what's been coming through. And yeah. This last month, since I last spoke to you. Yeah, I'm still in the same place as I was last month. But, I feel I may have a focus on where I want to go. And you can ask. If that's the thing I have to focus on, that's it. One thing. Can you change one thing in this next month? That's going to make maybe something easier for you, something better for you, but in a positive way. Yeah, because everything that's been done for me in this last month has been in a very positive way, and I'm a positive person, so it's got to be. Can you do? Please, please let me know. Comment and let me can. Yeah, because remember, every positive thing you do. Because we tend to the universe and it makes a big difference. Yeah? We can't always be moaning and groaning and that's what I try in the day. It's moaning and groaning. Po the poor me syndrome. Kind of thing. But there is some, and I'm not going to say it's, not, it's just going to be easy for me. It's not. And I've had tears already. Do they? I'm only telling you that some people can uh, Well, one person does. I've had some tears over this. Uh, but I'm going to move on. I'm going to be stronger. More focused. On what I want to do. Not what everybody wants me to do. But what I want to do. For my life. But as I say. Think about changing one thing. That makes it positive. In this next month. And I'll be looking out to hear your comments. And I'll be, we'll see you next month. In September. Oh, I might come on before then. You just never know. But I'm definitely going to be the very first of the month. I'm going to be the first month. The first of the month. I'm going to come on and do it. So whatever it is that you're doing. Whatever it is that you're. That you're we or whatever it is you're doing. Do a smile on your face. And love in your heart. And you can ask. You just don't care what's going to happen next. It will all be positive. It will all be good. But one day at a time, folks. And until I see you in a month's time. Have a good one. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.